Oh my god! <laughs> I'm trying so hard here, people. I'm trying so hard. Um, okay, so what were we doing? Oh, we're going Rakan. Right, Rakan jungle. Hell yeah. Seriously a fun off meta pick. For anybody wondering, one of my favorite off meta picks. Like, genuinely love it. Um, I think I still want to keep that, though. Celerity, and we could go Nimbus Cloak. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Serious face. Serious. Serious face. <laughs> Serious face. <laughs> so, Rakan Jungle. I genuinely love this pick. Like, genuinely love it. Because I find that it does a really decent amount of damage. Um, his clear is not great in the early goings of things. You still, like any other mage jungler, have to get a pretty early um, runic echoes. But once you have that, like, your clear ends up being pretty damn good. Ow. Like, your clear ends up being really good. Your damage ends up being really good. You can definitely um, gank pre-level uh, 6, which is awesome with your W. Um, the problem is, which you're <laughs> clearly going to see right here, is that as a mage jungler, you tend to take a lot of damage. And that's kind of just the, the one issue with any type of, like, mage jungle in particular, especially ones that don't have, like, really short cooldowns, like Rakan. Um, you just take a lot of damage early. And you kind of just have to deal with that. It's unfortunately just the thing. I wonder if I can maybe get, like, a cheeky gank here. Nice. So the thing was, I was kind of just... It, I kind of knew that that gank wasn't really going to, like, do much. I didn't think we were going to get a kill. But I kind of need to, to wait for my smite to be back up before I could do my red, because it might very well kill me. Um... So that actually gave me time to get my smite back up, so I can now secure this pretty safely. But it also got the Katarina's Flash, so it ended up being really successful. And I got a Dark Harvest stack! So, we all know that that is the most important thing in League of Legends, is the Dark Harvest stacks. So... You hate to see that, people. I mean, we take those. Uh oh. Whoop! Okay. So the lucky thing is, of course, I knew that she didn't have flash available. I don't think we can really fight this. Hmm. Okay, smites up in seven. Okay. Should be okay with this. Oh, there she is. Ho ho ho! Okay. I mean, that is actually not half bad. So, like, Katarina lost her flash, and the good news is that I actually killed the Akali fast enough that the, uh, sorry, I killed the Katarina fast enough that the Akali still got an assist, which is pretty damn awesome. Because it kind of keeps her in that lane rather than the Akali just, sorry, the Katarina just snowballing in this one. X-Ray Tay, thanks for the nine months, buddy. Great to have you back. 
Ooh, I'm liking the damage. I really, really am. Most good guys are just kidding themselves. Okay. And also, if you could... The, the changes that I would make to Rakan. If you could use your shield on wards or yourself. Like, you don't get the double proc of the shield on yourself, but if you could just cast the shield on yourself, I feel like he would be absolutely nuts. And if you could jump to wards with your shield, would be crazy. Wards and minions. <laughs> I would genuinely love that. There's no way it will ever happen, but it would be amazing. Okay. Oh, there's the flash. Sweet. Okay. That's not something that you want to fight, buddy. I'm loco! Um, okay, so I mean... The Shivana can pretty freaking easily do the trick. Why did the gangplank just TP down? He, why? Did you TP just to take my pink ward? Excuse me? I think they're on the dragon right now. I don't think there's anything I can really do about it. Yeah. Kind of figured that they were going down there. Damn, that is so unfortunate. He literally like TP down just to get my damn pink ward. I'm mad! <laughs> that really, really sucks. Okay. I might be able to head over here to take this Scuttle Crab down. Now, I've got to be worried that the Shivana kind of just wrapped around. She could have. Okay. Okay, so I mean, getting that is awesome. Katarina just got a kill on... Oh, sorry, a Kali. I, I'm gonna get a Kali and Katarina confused. Literally all game. Nice, that's also the Shivana being dead. That is gonna pretty much guarantee the Rift. Even though I don't have Smite. It should not matter. Okay. This is good, and I might very well be able to just put this mid. Because the Kali's already pushed up a little bit. It should actually be pretty good. I'm not complaining about this so far. Whoop, whoop. Okay. So I think I'm going to take my red buff. Oh, God. Or maybe I'm going to go... Uh-oh. Let's get some plates going here. Nice. That gives us a ton of gold. It also gives a Kali a lot of gold. Okay. All in all, not half bad. I'm going to go and take my red buff. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't actually see it there for a second. I was like, did she counter me? Okay, so she's level 7, I'm level 6. But to be honest, I have focused way more on ganking than she has. So that could explain it. Oof.
Damn, I was really hoping the Shivana was going to chase her in there. Because I could have, like, flash shield and then W to her. It would have been pretty cool if that worked. If that worked. But to be honest, I also really need to go back. So let's pick that up. Um, Hourglass is also really damn good. And getting a little bit of armor never hurt anybody. So this is actually really good. You love seeing... This is something that I always find, is that as a jungler, you hate seeing when you, like, you put effort into getting a lane ahead, and then nothing comes from it. That drives me nuts. So, like, the fact that we put some effort into mid lane, like, we got the early, um, Katarina Flash, right? We got the, uh, early kill, like, and then she's really been able to just, like, take that lane and just, like, skyrocket. She's now 4, 1, and 2. Like, so... That Akali is kind of screwed now without any type of, like, jungle support. So that makes me pretty damn happy. And now that we got the Runic Echoes, we're going to do a little bit more damage to camps. It means clearing is going to be a little bit easier. it out there there's like no dodging that thing 613 damage come on now come on it's just not right it's just not right okay so i mean it's still worthwhile like it's annoying that i died but it's definitely not like the worst thing on the planet we still killed like the shen the katarina and the shivana it's like overall it was a great fight for us it's just one of those, it could have been a better fight for us. <laughs> that's that's the thing that we got to get back to. It's just, it would have been so much nicer had we just... To be honest, it was kind of greedy of me, I'm not going to lie. Like, I should have, to be honest, just run away. Ran away. Um, and just let my team take care of her. But I'm greedy like that. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to do that. Your mind is telling you no, but your body, your body is telling you yes. I mean, that's not great. Hmm. Huh. Oh god. Yeah! Sometimes that's just what you need to do, you know? You flash in with the ultimate, you're fast enough, so you kill the Shen, you save the Akali, and then you get the F out of there, right? Jungling is not complicated, people. <laughs> you just gotta do your job. And this was the first, not Akali, was questioning the Rakan jungle. They did not know. They did not know what they were getting into here. I think Cinder Hulk seems like it would really synergize well. It does, 100%. I feel like you can build Rakan in multiple ways, especially when you're playing him in the jungle. Cinder Hulk does really well because, of course, his um, W will knock them up. Oh, 
Just run on through them. You just gotta run straight through them. Okay. So, I mean, we got the kill onto the Shivana. The Gangplank ended up dying as well. That's all really, really good. I like the purchase there. The buy was good. Um, the dragon's not coming up for another minute 50. So, I think I'm going to clear the top side of my jungle. Maybe gank mid and then go for the dragon? Right? I feel like that's going to be the way to go. And I got my smite, so I can use my smite on this guy just to take it down a little bit quicker. There we go. Okay, so Katarina gets a kill. Katarina should die here. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh god. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I feel like that all could have worked out just a little bit better. Okay. I mean, Dragon is coming up so soon. Don't taunt me, bro! Okay, this is up. We should probably just do this, I feel. She doesn't have ult, so this is actually pretty good timing for us. 640. She's level 10. I'm level 10. Sometimes they beat you. Sometimes they outsmite you, people. We're all human. But we should report the jungler at the end of this game. <laughs> report jungle. Jungle difference. Man, we were so close. I think it got to like 40 HP. Oh well. Um, so I mean, we're 8, 1, and 4. How did this happen? Um, okay. So I mean, Hourglass is gonna be good. We gotta put down the pink ward. I got you. I got you. We'll put down that pink ward. Basically, at this point, all I need is cooldown reduction. Like, cooldown reduction is gonna be the main thing here. So let's put this guy down. See that we got 2,000 gold, so I mean that's pretty damn good. Um, we can finish off our hourglass. That's huge because it means that we can do really solid engages and not worry about just immediately getting blown up. Um, Shirelia's is actually so much fun to do, but I feel like Proto Belt is probably going to be better because it also really gets us that cooldown reduction. So we're at 40% CDR, which is exactly what we were looking for. Especially as AP Recon. Like, you could do, like, Tank Recon, you could do AD, Attack Speed Recon, but when you're going for AP, you just need the CDR. What is happening? Get 
Get off of my gin! <laughs> she was trying to kill my gin, of all things! You don't touch my gin. Get off my AD carry, okay? Oh! No wolves. No wolves! No blue! No grump! This upsets me. Oh, that upsets me even more, though. We don't want Akali getting kills. We do not want Akali getting kills. Um, okay. I mean, we're pretty big. You're not wrong. I already placed my pink. My pink is right here, people. It's right there. Okay, I've done my part. Okay. Ezreal can kill me. I'm fairly certain about that. So I've got to... I can't be too aggro here. Because I saw Ezreal run it. Yeah, there he is. Like, I mean, if I got my combo off on him and I played it really well, I might be able to, like, bait him. Because I feel like I would need two full combos to kill him. So I don't really want to be... Like, with my smite, too, like, it'd be close. It'd be close. But, of course, he can probably just dodge my, um, my W with his E. So once he does that... My main source of damage is kind of just gone. I only believe in myself. I'm sorry. That was so good. Got his flash. Woo! 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 Oh, that was some good damage, though. Man, they questioned the AP Recon. They didn't think it was possible. <laughs> Big brain attack in the Baron. To be honest, it just seemed like the exact right thing to do. Shivana's going directly for that. She is there now. Cause yeah, like she was literally just like in the pit, so it made no sense not to just attack the Baron, have the Baron do all of the dirty work. Oh damn, she just got it. This red buff is coming up soon, though. Oh, you're gonna die, buddy. <laughs> like, you're you're gonna die. There's no way around it, right? Death will find you. It might just take some time. <laughs> Out of this reset. Fine. Okay. So I'm gonna take this guy down. And then what do we do from there? 
I mean, the Baron is also coming up pretty damn soon. Uh, <laughs> this is... Do we just... Okay, I'm gonna wait. I think I'm gonna go for a Rabidons. <laughs> it's just way funnier. It's way funnier to go a Rabidons. Because then we just blow them up, right? That's the idea. Full AP Recon needs to blow people up. Man, Akali and I both have a 700 gold bounty. Like, that's a really insane amount of gold to be walking around with. Like, if they get two kills on us, that's 1,400 gold. Like, that can't be something that we really want to be walking around with. Hmm. I mean, we could also just do the barrel. Rakan, the Rakan is so much fun. It's so much fun. I mean, I've still also got my hourglass. Ooh. Think I'm okay with this? Had my hourglass, but I don't think it was actually going to help there. The Katarina actually does damage. Even though she got 13 deaths, she still has 8 kills. I mean, it was... I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it was kind of aggressive to be that far in. How much gold did they just get? Oh, God. I mean, they didn't kill the, uh, the Akali, which is great. But the Katarina shut me down for 700 gold. Boom! <laughs> like, that's going to suck. Um, okay, we got to contest. Got to contest. Soul. I mean, they are, they're sticking in this one. I got to give them credit for that. Got to give people credit for sticking to their guns. I mean, it's not going to help them. They will lose. They will lose. I have two levels on shit. <laughs> Report if I miss. Just report me if I miss my smite, you know? Ezreal's got no ult.
Oh my god! <laughs> I'm trying so hard here, people. I'm trying so hard. Fear the Rakan jungle! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Man, Rakan jungle, I swear, my favorite off meta pick to play in League. Hands down. I gotta honor the Akali. Like, we played so damn well together. And the person judged the AP Rakan jungle. It was fun. Okay, so we got the S. 13, 2, and 16. What was the damage like? 18,000. I mean, it wasn't a lot, but Rakan's kind of just wanted to set up the team fight and then have somebody like the Akali knock them down. Which, I mean, Akali, 34, 35k damage? You don't feel too bad about that. I healed for 12,000. I shielded for 3,000. Like... Man, it's such a good pick. I love Jungle Rakan. 2,200 damage from Dark Harvest. 558 from Sudden Impact. Like, man, off meta people. Off meta shall become meta.